Hey guys. How are you? Hey Miguel. Fine. You there? Good to see you guys. Hold on, guys, guys. My camera is not being detected for some reason. Hold on. How are you guys? How is everything going so today? Lydia, nice to see you. Did you finish your exams? No, but the more difficult exams, yes. Okay. I'm talking about the ones at the university. Dude. Since you've been, since you've yeah. been uh, taking the exams, right? Yeah, that's my great. final final exams. All right, that's great. Have you gotten any results yet? What the final exam of the platform? No, no, no. I'm talking about the ones at the university. Have you got Ooh. any results? Like, did they give you the the scores? Yeah. Really? All right. And how do you do? We're good? Oh, nice. Excellent. All right. Go back. Nice. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Very good. All right. Well, good to see you today. So today, guys, is um, the last class of the year. All right, so um, we're going to talk, guys, about the final exam. So have you guys finished the final exam? Let's review, guys, everything that we have not finished so far. Um, I'm already done. With everything? Did you get a 100% in everything? No, uh, one on everything. the final exam. Okay, so just one question from the final exam. Okay, what about you, Olivia? Did you get 100% in everything? Yeah, I have, like um nine in the platform but i didn't check what are the activities who i didn't do so okay all right but um that, go ahead but you already finished it okay all right sounds good guys sounds good all right so we're gonna go guys over the final exam then we're gonna continue um so let's let's take a look open your platforms guys and uh tell me which questions you have not completed so far, okay? So which questions are you missing? Um, See, David, two, welcome. Two. Which one, I'm sorry? It's hey, thank you. The complete the sentences, mm -hmm. part two. And it's the second one. Okay, so you're talking about from the final exam, you mean? Yep. All right. That's the only one. Okay. And I Hold don't on. really know why it's not working. I, had, I tried future perfect and future perfect perfect continuous and known. Okay, all right. Give me just one second, man. I'm sending a message to everybody. All right, okay then, so let's go ahead and pull that up. Um, David, which ones are you missing? The same questions. The same ones, okay, all right. Yeah. So, well, let's let's go ahead and uh, talk about the final exam, then, okay? All right, guys, so yeah. let's, uh, first of all, okay, let's finish um, platform, I mean, uh, section number four. Did we all get 100, guys, in section four? I Lydia? Oh, you get you got one. Okay, right. So let's go through the answers, guys. So I'll section four and the final exam as well. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good, guys. So uh, we did the listening part. Have we done the listening part? Yes. Yeah. All right. Very good. All right. So answer for number one. Let's see, Miguel. What do you got? Just hold a little since I'm. Okay, right. Uh, David, what do you have for number one? Let me oh. check. <laughs> I don't All right, know. Lydia, do you have do you have it in front of you? <laughs> Already here. Here. 
Mm, the final exam? No, no, this is from section yeah. four. Ah, uh, yes, let me. A little moment. All right. Hold your horses. Good. <laughs> Hold your horses, yes. 4.3, oh, here. Okay, the first one is letter R. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So the first one is there are? Yeah, R. R. No, letter, just a letter, letter R. R. Okay, R. Or just no, R. R. Just uh -huh. R. Okay, all right, very good. Oh, because of the A R L. Okay, very good. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, uh, Lydia. A. All right. Three, Miguel. R. Four, Lydia. L. All right. David. R. David. Uh, L. All right, uh, Miguel. A. Lydia. A. And Lydia. A. All right. Ah, L. A no, A. L. Yeah. Okay, all right. That's what that's what I was asking you. Right, very good. <laughs> all right, very good, guys. Good job. All right. X one. All right. Four point six, guys. If I have been had been. Okay, very good. Had Number been. two, David. Wouldn't have. If I wouldn't have, very good. Number three, Lydia. Had brought. If I had brought, very good, right? Number, next one, Miguel. Wouldn't be shopping. Wouldn't be shopping, very good. Number five, David. Hadn't bought. Hadn't bought, very good. Next one, Lydia. Will be. Would be or will be? Will be. Oh, okay. Remember, guys, that you don't pronounce the L, right? Would. Just would. Would be. Would be. I repeat to you. <laughs> no, you don't pronounce the L. There is would no L. Be. How do you pronounce is it? Would be. Would be, yes. Would. Just would. Okay. Just like this word, Why would. Why you didn't say the L? You don't pronounce the L. It's, it's, Why? Uh, it's silent. It's a silence. Yes. So these words would and would, they are pronounced could. exactly the same. Could, right. should, and would. Yeah, should, could, right? They don't, you don't pronounce the L. All right, uh, number seven, Miguel. Had learned. Had learned, okay. Learned or learned? Learned. Like this? Learned. Like this? Maybe. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, David, eight. Eight. Would be able to. Would be, just would be or would be able to? Would be able to. Very good. Number nine, uh, Lydia. Uh, hadn't become. Hadn't become. Very good. They, uh, Miguel. Would travel. Would, would travel or would not travel? Wouldn't. Wouldn't travel. Okay. Awesome, guys. Okay, now this one. Would be? Like this? Would be, yeah. All right. Very good, guys. Good job. Listen to the exercise. Cindy? All right, so Cindy has a unique easy to see name tag on her luggage. Number one. False. False, no. probably false. No? Next is true. The second one is true. Okay, mm -hmm. right. The third one is true, true. and ah. false. False. All right, very good. False, true, true, false. Okay, guys, very good, guys. Super, super good. Okay. All right. Uh, we're gonna see this, guys. We're gonna see this today. But let's see the uh, the answers for the listening next for the reading exercise. What do we have for number one? Delighted. 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 Very good. Number two. Yeah. Experienced. 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 Okay, number three. Throw yourself, throw yourself into it. Throw yourself into it. All right, number four. Upgrade. 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 All right, uh, not upgrade, not upgrade. Upgrade, okay? Up, up, upgrade. Right? Upgrade. Okay. All right, so uh, number five. Interesting. 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 Okay, good job. Good job, guys. Awesome. All right, guys, so let's talk about... Let's get some vocabulary, okay? 
Oh. Sounds coming out from a different source. All right, guys. All right, guys. So, what is the meaning, guys? Okay, so what is the meaning of culturally? First of all, is it comes from a culture. It, very good. Okay, that it comes from a culture. Is this a is this a noun? Is this an adjective? What is it? What do you think? Adverb. Well, if it is an adverb, it has to modify an adverb, an adjective, or a verb. It is a adverb. Okay, very good. Okay, so it is an adverb. Good job. All right. Now, uh, what about not guys? What are what are these things? A here? negative prefix. It's negative a. Negative right, this prefix. is a negative prefix. Okay, very good. Open. Okay. What about open? Depends on the context. <laughs> okay, all right. Depends on the context. Good job. What about self? Okay. Very good. Okay, so we're gonna do an exercise, guys. Okay, all right. Get together. Oh, but it's only three of you, okay? So let's go ahead, guys. I'll give you five minutes to decide which ones go together, which which works on the on the left, on the right side, okay? So you're gonna tell me, for example, culture is it culturally assured, cultural minded, culturally aware, culturally motivated, culturally conforming, reliant, etc. Okay? Is it non-aware? Is it non-conforming? What is it? So pair them up, guys. Okay, pair them up in your notebook, right? And then I'm gonna ask you which which pairs are correct okay if you don't know guys exactly okay you can go ahead and google them right so let's go take a screenshot if you want and then pair them up in your notebook um work together guys any question i'll send it over to the whatsapp group guys hold on all right. Crazy. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. So I sent you. I sent you the information, guys. All right, so you got five minutes, so let's work on it. Where? Maybe. Maybe. Motivated probably can work. I'm sensitive. Which one does it work? This one, not much.
Let me know when you're finished, guys. <clears throat> when you're when you're finished. Okay.
All right. So, what do we have for number one, guys? So, what compound adjective? So, when we join, guys, when we join, when we join an adverb, um, with another word, guys, then we can do uh, compound adjectives. Okay. So, compound adjective, according to what you have done so far, guys, how can you define a compound adjective? Mm -hmm. So how would you define it? How many words do we have on a compound on the on the adjective that you created, guys? Two words. Or Very more. good, guys. Okay, right. Now, how many words does a, does a regular adjective have? Just one, right? So this is the reason why, guys, we call it a compound adjective, okay? Because it is, compo it, it is composed of two words, all right? So what do you have? Let me let me share the screen again, and we're, we're going to go through the answers together. All right, guys, so what do you have? What do we have for culturally, all right? Did you, did you come up with any adjective for culturally? Aware. Culturally aware. aware. Very good, okay? And what is someone who is culturally aware? What do you think? What do you think, Lydia? So what type of person is someone who is culturally aware? How would you define that? No, I am not sure about the meaning of that because I was very confused about this topic. So. Very, very. Not very. Uh, very. So. Very, right? Very good. Very All right. confused about this topic, so... I'm not sure about it. All right, give me an adjective. Of what? Just give me an adjective. Um, intelligent, maybe? Very good, okay, now give me a sentence with that adjective. Uh, the teacher is very intelligent. All right, the teacher, right, is very intelligent, okay? Now, intelligent is the adjective, right? Yeah. Very good, so, Check this out. I can say the teacher is culturally aware. All right. So what do I do? I put a dash in between. And now I created a complex adjective. Okay. That, that teacher is culturally aware. See? All right. Now. Why, why is this an adjective? Because it follows the same structure, see? That teacher, the teacher, in this case, guys, the teacher would be what? It would be the? The what of the sentence, guys? Subject. Okay. The subject, okay? All right, and then you have the verb be. All right, just the verb be. All right. And now you have another here, but this is optional, okay? The verb be plus an adjective okay now if i say the teacher is culturally aware do, do I, am i following the same structure yes or not yes guys it follows yes. the same structure right now can i say guys the teacher is culturally no right <laughs> you cannot say that because culturally is an adverb okay it would modify it will modify a verb Okay, or an adverb or, or an adjective, okay? Aware, guys, is an adjective, okay, on its own. So, all right, so culturally aware. So now that you know that that's an adjective and an adjective describes a noun, what is, what is, what is culturally aware? So what can you define? Who is culturally aware? Give an example of someone who is culturally uh -huh. aware. That's easier. Someone who can understand the difference between two cultures and act upon it cultures act based upon it yes okay culture. very good guys okay good job okay very good uh what else can we say guys culturally what can i say culturally assured can i say culturally minded culturally reliant culturally conforming culturally hearted 
culturally judgmental, cult culturally sensitive, culturally uh, culturally starter starter. Can I say all of that? Quite a few actually work, but many are not really used that often. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. What else did we find? Okay, uh, Miguel, what else did you find aside from culturally aware? Let's see. Motivated works. Culturally well. motivated. Okay. Huh? Uh, all right, go ahead. Well, and sensitive. Culturally sensitive. Okay. Very good. What about you, David? What do you have? What about none? Um, what do you find about what? What did you find about none? None. Conforming. Non conforming. Okay. What else? Conforming and motivated. All right. Uh, non motivated. Okay. Okay. Very very good, Lydia. What did What did you find with open? Um, the only that I think that I hope correct is open minded. Very good. Open minded. Okay. What about open hearted? Yeah, too. Okay, very good. All right, what about self, guys? <clears throat> what did you find for self, David? Self judgmental. Self judgmental, very good. What else? Judgmental. And sensitive. Self sensitive. Self sensitive? Mm, what do no. you think? Nah, right? Because you would be sensitive, like. Yeah, you could be sensitive, All right? Mm. Uh, what else? Self-motivated. What about self-motivated, guys? Yes. All right. Self-aware. Okay, self so let's let's take a look at. Brilliant. Let's take a look at the answers, right? So see you guys. Everybody repeat. Culturally aware. Culturally aware. All right. Culturally sensitive, right? Write it down in your number, guys. Okay, so with culturally aware and culturally, culturally sensitive, okay? Miguel explained it very well. Repeat, guys. Non-conforming. Non-conforming. Non-conforming, right? So non-conforming, guys, is someone who does not conform with anything, okay? It's hard for someone to get, you know, to conform with something. Uh, Lydia, do you think that you're conforming or non-conforming? Um, maybe. No, I don't know. Depends. It depends? Okay. Yeah. All right, very good. Uh, what do you think, David? Are you not judgmental or are you judgmental? Judgmental. Judgmental, I'm sorry. I are you not non-judgmental or, or are you judgmental? Or judgmental. Non -judge -judge judgmental. Okay, very good. Uh, Miguel, are you open hearted? Hearted? Um, not really sure. Probably. Okay. I don't really see myself. Who is, so, who is someone open hearted, guys? Lydia, what do you think about someone open hearted? Um, it's like a person who don't have a problem to demonstrate her what that per what she or he feels you know it's oh, like okay so i i don't know how to explain you but it was but I, it's like that for my that, that that's a good explanation good job that's a good explanation yes david what is uh self-assured what is someone who is self-assured i'm self-assured <laughs> what is that uh is when when you do some no nah. <laughs> Probably is when you I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's okay. very self-assured, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, what is it, Miguel? What is someone who's self-assured? Someone who's really certain of the things that he does. Very good. Yeah. Okay, David, do you think that you're self-assured? Yes, I said yes, the same. Come, you're, <laughs> come on, you think you were like, ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, what about self-motivated? I think, I think Lady is self-motivated. From oh, anywhere, she's self-motivated yeah. because, uh, I, does anybody tell you to exercise every day? No, right? Huh? Does anybody tell you to exercise every day? No. No, no. right? So that is, no. that's, she motivates herself, right? So that is self-motivation. Very good. 
Uh, self-reliant, guys. What is the meaning? Do you understand what self-reliant is? Uh, like, let me let me be sure about it. Okay. Like, uh, independent. Very depend good, independent. Okay, someone who's that's... independent. Okay, you don't need like toxic or toxical to. Yeah, to, that's... You know, to uh, <laughs> you don't rely on them. They, you don't depend on one person to make to be happy, right? Yeah. Very good. What about self-centered, guys? Do you think that? Do you think that? Um, well, tell me, what do you, what do you think it's self-centered is? Well, uh, who thinks that the world spins around them? Yeah. Very good. Okay, is that a is that a good adjective or a bad adjective? Bad. A bad adjective. Bad adjective, right? Bad adjective. Do you know anybody who is self-centered? Yeah, a lot of people. Yes. A lot of people. <laughs> do you think that you're you're self-centered? Me. Uh, everybody. I'm asking no. everybody, but yeah, no? No. no, I don't like that. What about like you, David? <laughs> no, I don't think I'm so. If I am, if I start doubting, it means I'm not. Exactly. Well, yeah. Uh, no, I think I think you know you cannot judge yourself on that. You might have um, it's you know what everybody thinks about you, right? What you think about yourself is important, but you know um, it's important if you don't have a job, man, <laughs> or, or like you're rich or whatever. You know, I don't. I wouldn't care like would say that i'm um, that i'm self-centered you know but if you have a job you know you, you have to you have to have a good perception people have to have a good perception of you right uh very good guys okay applause for you guys you got it very good any question guys regarding this vocabulary no any question all right no question yeah. any any guys doesn't mean ninguna okay don't it doesn't have a translation guys all right, you say no question, all right? Very good. Um, so guys, let's talk, okay? Now um, we're gonna we're gonna go through the final exam, guys, and then we're just gonna continue talking, okay? And we're gonna say goodbye to each other mm -hmm. until next year, probably. Yeah, Not sure. Yeah. All right, guys. So is there going to be one? Uh, I got a message. What? Uh, about the next uh, future curse about the future curse a, a continuation of this or something oh yeah yeah uh, what are you asking me I'm sorry uh, if there's going if there's really going to be one just to make sure uh, I I think so <laughs> okay yeah but I think I, I don't know if it's a kind of like a different program because it might be a two hour program um, so probably it's not going to be with me anymore but you got it because you know like it's funny guys the the higher you get in a level the less people you get like few people go get get to advanced you know advanced three so i don't know i think david right david you've been with me in previous classes we have a lot of people right yes all right <laughs> 30 20 people guys in every class yeah. but, but in advanced three guys we only have three which makes the class a little bit you know more <laughs> less energetic because it's you can't, guys. It's like just three people, right? What am I gonna do? You said Lydia, this, David, this, we got that, right? <laughs> you're yeah. you're always participating. It's the same people, but at least you know it's more personalized. We gotta look at the positive side of it, right? All right, guys. So let's uh, go ahead and go through the final exam. So Sue found. Help me read, David. Wait, oh, give me a second. Okay, Sue found some money where she works. Very good. True or false? Uh, true. All right, number two, next one. Okay, go, go like this, guys. David, Lydia, Miguel. Oh, Alejandra, Eli, welcome, welcome back. Okay, hello, Alejandra. Hello, Eli. Hello, teacher. Hey, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go through Christmas together, and we're gonna, we're gonna reach 2021. And I never saw your faces. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Alejandra? Okay. Why? Who are you? We don't I know you, Leandre. I'm sorry, it. my camera will not work. It's okay. If your camera doesn't work, it's okay. I'm kidding. So, uh, very good. So, number two, Alejandro, help me read. And actually, guys, the reason, all right, before um, you think, I don't know. Uh, remember, we ask you to turn on the camera, guys, because you need to be paying attention. That's why, okay? Um, because I've had people, guys, okay, they are in the bathroom. 
you know, watch the <laughs> class, right? So yeah, that that's why. But if your camera is not working, I understand it. Um, but yes, it's because of that, Alejandra. Uh, very good. So number number two, Alejandra. Yeah, she's not there. Okay. Huh? Tell me. We try to. Sue tried to contact people who were at the restaurant on the night she found money. Very good, guys. Is that true or false? False. What do you think? That's false. Very good. Number three, Ellie. I know on this part yet. Oh, hey, guys, you need to have finished the platform before today, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, uh, Miguel, let's go. Number three. Number three. The woman thinks Sue should tell the manager. Okay, very good. The woman thinks Sue should tell the manager. So is that true or false? True. All right, very good. That is true. Number four. What do you think about number four? It's true. All right. Very good. Part two, guys. Number one. For four years. For four years. Number two. His professor to repeat for his herself. professor to repeat for herself. His professor to repeat for herself. Very good. Number three. Be patient. Be patient. Number four. Offending his classmates and professor. Offending his classmates and professor. Good job, guys. Twenty out of twenty. Very good. Choose the terms and words. Uh, help me read. Continue with this, Miguel, and give me the answer. Doing something that is against the law is illegal. Very good. It's illegal. Uh, David, number two. Someone who is always in a bad mood is disagreeable. Very, uh, is this agreeable? Is that the right answer, guys? Yes. Okay. What about number three, Lydia? Pushing one person and not another for the same screen is unfair. Repeat, guys, crime. 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 All right, it's Maybe. unfair. Okay, so what is that? Fair. Unfair. Unfair. Very good. Alejandra, number four. Being, um, is telling someone who you, is that being um, honest, is telling someone how you really feel. Very good. Okay, number five, uh, Ellie. I know that you have not done it, but let's try to, you know, to do it right now, right? So what is it? Being on time to work and doing a good job is um, responsible behavior. The responsible behavior. Okay, number six, Miguel. Making decisions where you are overly emotional can be irrational. Irrational. Good job. Number seven. David. Some parents are of their children's curiosities disapproving. Disapproving. Are these approving of their children's curious choices? Number eight, Lydia. Being friends with someone so you can borrow a car is unscrupulous. Unscrupulous. Repeat unscrupulous. unscrupulous. Um, all right, good job. Alejandra, okay. number number one, part two. Got the coffee. Sabes que quiero chocolatito con marshmallow. Tengo hambre. Alejandra. Okay. okay. Um, I would buy a new yeah. gadget. That one, right? I mean, sorry. I wouldn't return wouldn't someone's return wallet. Someone's uh -huh. I wouldn't. Re yes, I wouldn't return someone's wallet. Um, unless a large amount of cash in it. Okay. Now there is something wrong here, guys. I wouldn't yeah, return someone's good. wallet unless a large amount of cash in it. Only if a large amount of cash in it. It should say, guys. Unless yes, there was a large amount of cash in it, or mm -hmm. only if there was a large amount of cash in it, okay? All right, but uh, good job, Mark. Let's use unless, okay? Number two, uh, Ellie. 
our boy Anil Gadja. Um, only if it really serves a purpose that I need. Very good. Okay, number three, Miguel. I won't give money to a charity unless I had a favorite cause. Good job. Number four, Lydia. I mean, David. Uh, even if the job pay a lot of money, I still wouldn't take it. I hate it. Very good. Number five, Lydia. I will use a fake student ID to get a discount only if I was really broke. Only if, guys? Are you I was here? really broke. Only if. Only if. Okay, very good. Number six, Only. Alejandra. I wouldn't report a classmate uh, unless he or she had cheated on a test. Very good. Okay, all right, let's see. Good job, guys. All of them are correct. Complete the sentences. Okay, I guess this is the one most people had issues with. All right, so Miguel, let's read it in. Let's go through the answer for number one. All right. I wish I hadn't talked. I hadn't talked so much at the party. No, I am embarrassed. So is it only? So the, the what is what is the answer? Hadn't talked. Hadn't. Okay. Hadn't. Uh, talked. Hadn't talked or talked. Talked. Very good. Okay. Number two, David. Wouldn't have trip. Okay, wouldn't, wouldn't have tripped. Have tripped. All right, uh, Lydia, next one. So I don't have that part. That's oh. the part that I didn't do. Beautiful. All right. No, Alejandra, <laughs> number four, number three. Um, if only my profession, my professor. I don't know. I'll try with this one. What is no working? Would assigned less homework on Friday. Had assigned. Very Had good. Assigned. Remember, guys, if you if you, use, if you use the clause if, guys, okay, you always have to use had, right? <laughs> so just keep that in mind. If you're using the verb, I would have, but you can never use if, guys, plus would have, okay? So if only my professor had assigned okay good job number four ellie i wish i had spent more time with my little sister growing up very good okay uh, miguel continue number five if i had practiced harder i could have been a professional musician all right if number okay uh part two Number one, David. Is will have completed. Okay, Marcy would have completed. All right, Marcy. Didia, let's go. That's a nightmare one. Yeah. Really. January Paola will be study Japanese. Maybe I'm I'm not sure. Try it. Uh, try not. Try not. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Try. Try. Don't try to guess. Try to whatever makes sense so for you. I don't Remember? understand this topic, so for that is the reason that I don't give the correct answer. Okay, Miguel. All right. So let's. So you you want to try it or or you don't want to try it? No, I don't want to try it. Okay. All right. Very good, yeah. Alejandra. Let's go. Number two. By January, Paula. Mm -hmm. By January, Paula would have studied Japanese for four years. Would have studied, okay. All right, what do you think, guys? Is this the right answer? Future perfect or future perfect continuous. Okay, would have studied, okay, very good. All right, uh, number three, Ellie. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try. Um, 
Hey guys, one, one, <laughs> thing, one thing that I'm going to ask you is it's the last day, so relax. I, I, today. Um, I, so, I oh, oh, wasn't tell me, tell in the me class the last day. Okay. If you miss the class, yes, I know that you have come. Um, you can yeah, ask us or you, can, or you yeah. can review the class, right? Yeah. Um, go ahead, Ellie. But um, we'll <laughs> graduate. Tell me. <laughs> Will graduate? I'm not Tyler sure. I'm will not. graduate by the time. Now, remember, guys, when we give you a specific time or something, when an action stops in the future, what grammar tense do we use? That's perfect. You're perfect. <laughs> You're perfect. What, what do you use? Future perfect. Future perfect. Okay, so, all right, so Ellie, now that you know that you have to use future perfect, let's try to use future perfect, okay? We'll have. We'll have what? Graduated. We'll have graduated. graduated. Okay, number four. What about number four? Who? So we will have been studying. Miguel, let's go, Miguel. Oh. We'll have been studying. All right. So we'll have been studying, okay. Number five, uh, David. We have driven. We'll have driven, right? Pronounce it, guys. Driven. Oh, driven. <laughs> All right, lead it. Number six. I will have play, maybe. And so I'm not sure. And right. I don't want to participate. Why do you? Why are you upset? I no, will nothing. have played. Very good. Okay. All right. So if you have anything else to do, Lita, that's okay. I will not make you participate. Okay. Uh, just remember, guys, you do have the videos of the classes. So you can review them. Okay. All right. So very good, guys. Number two. So, number one. Oh, number one. We have we have a quotation mark there. Is this the right yeah. answer? I hadn't talked. Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay. So number one. What do you think about number one? Will. Is will have completed. Would have completed, okay. Will have completed or would have completed? Will. Will. All right. What about number two? I don't know. I have tried about all the possible answers that I know of, and I haven't found it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> By January, Paula. So this is the one that you have not answered at all. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Why, why are we using would have would have studied, guys? What do you think? I think it is will have been studying, right? Because it has to be in ING. Will have been studying is the we'll answer have, that is, I have been. What about? What about that is the we'll, one that will make more sense. What What about will have studied for four no, years? All no, right, right. will have been studying. Okay. By January, Paula will have been studying Japanese for four years. Actually, guys, this makes a lot of sense. Have you tried this one? Yes. Yes, but it's wrong. Yes. It's wrong? Okay, we'll see what's wrong there, okay? What about the next one? What, what about the last one? We'll have been playing. If you we'll sure can. have been I playing, right? Paid. Because, guys, we don't have a specific time where it stops, okay? Very good. All right, so we'll see what's wrong with that one, okay? Da -da -da. We'll have been... Daddy? What? <laughs> the answer in the platform is, is incorrect, guys. The answer should be, <laughs> guys. All right. This is saying it would have been studied. This is not past participle. It should be will will have been studying. Okay. This should be the right answer. But put it like this, guys. Will have been studied. Will okay? have been studied. It is wrong, guys. That is wrong. Okay. That is absolutely wrong. But just put it like that. Okay. We even tried multiple wrong. Answers. I know the, the answer, guys. The answer, the answer should be will have been studying. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you guys are correct. The platform was wrong on this one. Okay. So just correct it, guys. All right. So just type in will have been studying. I mean studied, and they will take it as correct. Now this one, guys. By next year, I will have played the violin for half my life. Now remember. Here, guys, the action is not stopping, right? 
So if it's not topping, that's the reason why we use future perfect continuous. Okay, good job, guys. Okay, applause for you guys. All right, good job. High five to you guys. Good job. All right, so next one, guys, fill in the blanks. That's where we have because we have just a couple of minutes. Uh, Judy, Judy is really looking forward to. I mean, Dude. looking forward. <laughs> I, I give you the answer. Her study, I have really say it too. All right, very good, <laughs> David. Let's go number two. With <laughs> when Darcy. When there is a travel, she likes to be familiar with the public transportation. With very good, Alejandro. Number three. Barry is excited. Uh -huh. about living with a host family abroad. Okay, all right, number four, uh, Ellie. <clears throat> I'm not sure what, which option you have, have. You have to use one of these prepositions, about, in, no, of, 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 with, okay. or to. Okay, uh, what can she pass? One thing uh, I'm scared of. Um, uh huh? What do you think? Um, no. Off, guys, okay? Scared off. Um, All right. Very good. Uh, next one, Miguel. Jeremy is participating in the new cultural class. Very yeah. good. Number six. Linda's parents are aware of her interest in travel. Beautiful, David, number one. When you study abroad, you have to be a self-starter. Self-starter, like this? Okay, yeah. number two, Alejandra. If you're not open-minded, you can miss some interesting things. Also, number three. Uh-huh, uh, Ellie? Oh, please, not to me. We just remember to be non? I don't know. I'm, um, Judgmental. Try it. I'm going to watch the last class letter, OK? No, no, this, this, is, this, is, this is, we saw this in this class. Which class? Uh, Today's class. <laughs> Right now, I just connected. I don't know what are you oh, talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, about, yeah. yeah. You, were not, you were not here early. Right? Okay, right. Right. All right, guys. So what do you think, Miguel? Non-judgmental. Non, very good. Non. Is it just judgmental here? Judgmental. Yes. Judgmental. Yeah. Judgmental. Okay, very good. Okay. Very good. Judgmental. Very good. Uh, Let's go. Miguel, give me four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? Because we need to hurry. <laughs> we need to hurry up. <laughs> what? Culturally <laughs> assured? No. Sensitive. <laughs> Sensitive, okay. Sensitive. Sensitive, right. Five, let's go with number five. Assured. Assured, all right. Brilliant. Reliant. 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 Uh-huh. Confirming. Okay, all right. So, conforming, okay. And eight. Motivated. Motivated, okay. Motivated. All right, guys. Awesome. Wait, there was a wrong one. There was one wrong? Yes, but I think it was a misspelling. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Judgmental. There you go. <laughs> thank you, Google. All right. Th thank you, man. All right, reading, guys. Last one. Sarah keeps her feelings to herself. True or false? False. Sarah wished she had been more sensitive. True or false? True. Very good. Sarah likes to talk about her personal life. True or false? False. Very good. Number four, people are afraid of Sarah. True. 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 Okay. Uh, part two, number one. Jenny had Jenny had to stand up on the bus on Istanbul. False. 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 Uh, the man next to Jenny had trouble sleeping. False. Three. True. True. All right, four. False. false. Five. And true. Okay, there you go, guys. Woo! We finished the platform, guys. 
Applause, guys. This is the last applause of the year, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, guys. It's been... Oh, my God. All right. Uh, guys, it's been uh, it's been a, a good pleasure, guys, to be with you. You guys are graduating from Advanced right now. Um, enjoy your Christmas, guys. Enjoy your Christmas. Happy New Year. I'm not sure, guys, if we're going to see each other next year. We're probably not going to see each other, guys, because this is the... This is uh, the last level from advanced with one hour. I think the other the other type of prog the other program includes two hours. So so I'm not sure, guys. Okay. Uh, but thank you, guys. Thank you for getting connected. You know, it's been a good experience. Thank you, Miguel, for connecting every day. David, you know, I know that you didn't connect too much, but <laughs> you've been with me in you know previous classes, guys, uh, before. And um, so thank you, man. Uh, Lydia, thank you for connecting every day too. Um, even when you're studying, you know, you connect. So thank you very much. Um, Alejandra, same thing. Thank you for being here today and some other days. Uh, good job. And Ellie, you are connecting, you know, you connected every time. Well, every day, uh, even if you were working too. So I really appreciate it guys. And you guys are cool. All right. And Thanks. thank you guys. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Nice meeting <laughs> you all guys. You guys are dismissed. Merry Christmas and happy new year. Enjoy nice the rest of your night, guys. See you, right. See you guys. Nice meeting you guys. See you. Have Bye. a good night. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye.